I really want to like, I want to feel good about what I'm doing. When I meet somebody who picks up a product that I made and I see them smile, I'm like, fuck yeah, that was a good effect. Like, when somebody gets it, it affects them in a good way and it moves them and they dig it. The money's never been why. Money's cool because it pays for more of the, the same shit and more machines to make cool stuff, but it's never been the why or the driving force. The driving force has always been create good effects. Hi, I'm Josh from Good Art, and for 25 years we've been making good stuff. My interest in uh, both function and Americana are actually one and the same. I grew up around an affinity for what I generally think of as like American values, like hard day's work for a day's pay and job well done and integrity behind your product and you put your name on it. And all these sort of core values that I think a lot of people hold dear, but for me they seemed American as well. It ties into a, an era that I really like a lot, which is like when my dad was a kid, before the depression and a little bit after. So there's a lot of machinery and mechanics involved in producing things for lots of people. In some ways, a lot of the quality of products that had been handmade might have gone down or changed a little bit. The machinery that made the stuff was like top notch. It was made by a generation of machine makers who didn't have any idea that they'd make something that would only work until the next model next spring came out. So some of the equipment we use is 100 years old. And some of the techniques are 100 years old. And I think when I was young, I, I was exposed to a lot of that. We had a workshop in the garage and we built things. And, they were like grandpa's tools that we'd use. One of the things that's unique about this particular facility is we do everything under one roof, soup to nuts. And in doing that, we have total responsibility for the product. So I can come up with an idea or a change or a modification or something completely new, work it out, create a master, and right from there, go into prototyping, manufacturing, finishing, and when we get a piece in the line, it, it all happens right here with complete control. Everybody in the room knows what's going on. And we can ship it out. If something's wrong, it's very easy to fix. We make all kinds of stuff. It's a little silly to think that somebody's gonna spend two grand on a Zippo lighter, I think. But at the same time, I'm the one who decided to make a $2,000 Zippo lighter because I think it's fucking cool. And when I smoked, it was my favorite thing. Those things aren't necessary, they're just, they're cool. And it's the same with a lot of the keychains we make. So I think we're sort of in the game of aesthetics and putting aesthetics into everyday life. And for me, my favorite place to do that is right here in the workshop where you know, we fine tune cool products. Even though that's the kind of stuff we make and it's in the realm of jewelry, none of this is precious. None of this stuff is delicate or so precious that you shouldn't use it. Like keep your grandma's jewelry in the safe. Use this stuff till it turns to dust. What we do here isn't just jewelry making, there's a lot of other components to it, but the basics of making a, a piece of metal is uh, you're going to want to carve something out of a wax or a wood and then create your master, get it really close to what you want it to look like, work on it, refine it. Once you get it where you like it, you want to make a mold so you can reproduce that same piece. So for instance, on a clip like this, this is a clip 24. This has no specific purpose other than it's just fucking cool. Um, you can hang your wallet chain off of it or your keys. But just breaking it down, the arm right there, there's a mold for the arm. So the way it works is you make your wax piece, you use your rapid prototyper, your wood, your metal, however you create it. You put it into a mold frame. It's a U-shaped piece of metal. Put a piece of glass in the front and the back. You pour a two-part liquid in and then we end up with a uh, silicone mold. I always explain that like good waxes make for good jewelry. This is a wax for a clip, like this one right here. We call it a noodle slider. Nobody really likes the name, but the idea was to create something that would fit on your belt loop, castable out of a single piece, has some good flex in it, and uh, keep your keys on your belt wherever you like them like that. So this little surprise, Adam here, what we did at this point is we've done the wax work, we cast the piece, we sanded it, we cleaned it up, and then we put it in a process where we basically boil the piece in sulfur, and in boiling it in sulfur, sulfur reacts with silver and gold, kind of the way that uh, 
you get rust on iron. It protects the metal, so it creates a coating. And that's what that black is that you see. It's pretty bitchin'. So we put the pins on the back. It's ready to be a pin, but there's one final stage. You make the whole thing black and then polish it out again so that the highlights are all shiny. And then in the cracks and crevices, it looks as though it's actually uh, really old, but what the process does is it sort of gives a lot of depth to the metal. And we do it with both our silver and our gold. Pretty sick, right? In the 25 years of doing this sort of thing and making stuff, there have been many times where it's been really tough and you know, maybe there's not enough money to like do the shit I want to do and I'm living in a shitty little apartment and had a lot of years of struggling. I don't really look at those too much, but I do, I can look back and say, oh yeah, those times might have been hard to say, you know, fuck yeah, things are good. But the truth is, I've kind of been spending a long time getting right here where things are not only really good, but they're like, they're getting better. And sometimes I forget, like I gotta like look at what's going on right in front of me and realize it's perfect, like it's just, it's good. And if I apply that to life, cool. If I apply it to what I make, I think even better. Hey guys, I'm Katie, here at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and see more exclusive videos down below. And check out thehundreds.com, covering the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.